You see before you a presentation about the new sanctuary addition to the Calvary Baptist Church in Smithfield, Virginia. This has been prepared by our architect, Michael Henry, and we're excited to show you what we believe God is leading us to build as we seek to reach our community and our world for the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll notice here some pictures of our building as it currently stands. I'm so glad the Lord led us to build this facility in 1994. And you see some beautiful shots here of what we have and uh, how, how uh, things stand as we currently use these buildings. We have a, a primary building in the front, a secondary building in the back with Sunday school rooms and a fellowship hall. Here I want you to see then a master plan. Uh, we're looking ahead as God would lead us and guide us. All this is in the Lord's hands, but you see in yellow at the very bottom of your picture, the new sanctuary edition. As you move up the page, you see some proposed uh, ideas that we have about how to use the existing space. And in tan, a tan color, you'll see uh, things filled in between our buildings. You'll see on the second building, an extension to our fellowship hall. And the very top of your picture, you'll see uh, a depiction of a family life center or a gymnasium. And we're praying God will bring all those things to pass, but that certainly is in His time. Our focus for this presentation and for what is immediately in front of us is a new sanctuary building. And here's a rough drawing of what we anticipate it to look like on the inside as far as the layout. And you see on the very left side a, a canopy entrance that people would enter in from a left parking area and be able to step into a foyer. And on your left-hand side as you enter that would be restrooms. Your right-hand side would be a significant nursery area. On the far right and left, you see there as you enter in that building, you would see stairwells that lead to a second story where we're hoping to have potential, potentially have classrooms and eventually to build a balcony in the sanctuary. As you continue to move, move along, there would be to your right in this picture, you see the existing uh, sanctuary that's planned with seating for 350 people. Uh, all the way up front, you see the platform area and to both sides of that, you see rooms on a choir room on the bottom side of your picture and on the top side another room that could be used for classroom and storage and the like and of course on the very far right of your picture a baptismal area and we're trusting folks will be coming to the Lord Jesus Christ and we'll see many enter the baptismal waters to affirm their faith and to present their uh, their profession of faith to our congregation. I want you to notice this picture this is a rendering of the what our church would look like our church building would look like from Turner Drive and uh, it's beautiful there with the steeple presenting itself to the roadside uh, with some columns and uh, doors and windows on that side. You see the baptistry end of the church building on this end with the beautiful cross depicted there. And uh, this is what we've envisioned with our architect. There's, a, there's an aerial shot of that end of the building. And you see this, the new sanctuary building connecting to our current a worship building, then a connector hallway to the second building, which is an educational building, and which again shows the future depiction of it being extended. And then beyond that, you see a proposed Family Life Center. We trust God will give to us in the years ahead. This aerial shot now continues to move along on that side to the back of the property, and you see more parking proposed in the future as we try to accommodate the needs of our growing congregation. We trust God will bring all of that to pass. We continue to move around and you see the opposite side of the property approaching uh, from the, the view would be approaching from the Route 10 and from the side that where Smithfield High School, Smithfield Middle School will be located just a mile up the road. As we take that view, you see the back of the property. We continue to move around now and you see the primary entrance to the new sanctuary uh, with the, there's a, on this end of the building, there's a, there's a small round window there in the very top underneath that, an overhang there, a porch area with columns for people to, to enter, and uh, we're excited about that. And uh, that'll be the primary entrance for the building. Another thing we're excited about as we take a view from the opposite side, uh, on the, the Bowling Green side of our property, you would see a pass-through, a connected pass-through where people can drop off and weather. And that will be helpful to us uh, for our senior citizens. It will be helpful for our boys and girls. And we're excited to be able to connect the two buildings that way to help us in times of inclement weather. And uh, we're, we're asking God to bring all these things to pass. And we're looking forward uh, to what the Lord will do. 
Now, we also have some in, interior pictures of a church that's very similar, a church in our area that has the same building design. Uh, this will not be exactly what we will have, but it may be very similar. We wanted you to be able to take notice of the space that's available with the height of the walls, the layout of the pews, um, the height and the width of the platform. And uh, we see that this would be a significant increase for us. You see also the windows at the very top of this facility, and we are planning to have those as well, natural light to help with the lighting of our sanctuary. And you see a better shot here of the platform area with the instruments there and the choir. As God grows us, we see that we'll have plenty of room for the things that we do as we worship the Lord and even Christmas presentations, Easter presentations, other things that God may lead us to do with this facility. Now this building, we already see a, a depiction or a picture uh, here of a balcony. We will not have this balcony right away, but in the future, we're trusting the Lord will allow us to do that and to add significant seating, maybe one to 200 seats in a balcony uh, that, would, that would allow us to seat more people as God grows our church. Again, just give you an idea of the wall height and uh, the spacing in this room, something that would be very similar. You see a little bit of the slope of the floor and there will be a slight slope as well in our sanctuary as it comes to pass in the near future. And so we're grateful for what God has done in bringing us to this point. We wanted you to be able to take a look at this and pray with us. And we're trusting that the Lord will supply our needs and give us the faith uh, to trust Him as we launch out to build this new sanctuary building here at Calvary Baptist Church in Smithfield, Virginia.